Hello, this is your Congressman Michael Burgess. Earlier this week, I hosted a telephone town hall. This provided an opportunity for the constituents of the 26th District to share their concerns, to ask their questions. With over 3,000 North Texans on the phone, we discussed a range of issues, including health care reform, immigration, national security, tax reform, and more. Throughout the entire telephone town hall, I asked several poll questions to get a better idea of how you feel on some of the biggest issues facing us Texans. Health care reform is a top priority for Congress and for the Trump administration. When asked, a majority of North Texans on the telephone town hall indicated that they support repeal and replacement of the Affordable Care Act. As the chairman of the Energy and Commerce Subcommittee on Health, I'm committed to delivering relief to Texans from this collapsing law. Congress plans to repeal the Affordable Care Act and rebuild our health care system to provide truly affordable care to the greatest number of people. Also, while on the telephone town hall, we discussed immigration and the vetting of refugees who wish to enter our country. Over 60% of the constituents on the call said they believe the United States needs to strengthen its current vetting process. You know, a year ago, FBI Director James Comey admitted to a group of bipartisan members of Congress that the United States lacks an adequate vetting system to ensure that there is no risk of letting terrorist sympathizers slip through the cracks. Protecting Americans at home and abroad is arguably the greatest responsibility of our federal government. The Trump administration has taken steps to prioritize the safety of Americans by securing our borders. Congress will remain involved in the process and provide legislation to strengthen the vetting of those who wish to enter our country. If I missed you this week, I look forward to connecting with you soon. As a reminder, you can always contact me through my website at www.burgess.house.gov. Last year alone, I responded to over 39,000 Texans. As always, I appreciate your comments and your questions on these issues or any other issue. May God bless you and your family, and as the song says, God bless you, Texas.